the main outline of a Fibonacci speed resistance fan begins with a horizontal and vertical ray. These all have values of 0. It then extends to 1 to form a box, which will be the outline of the fan's grid. The first diagonal line or fan line is also formed. This is then repeated for the following values, which in turn form more grid lines on the horizontal and vertical axes to combine both the elements of price and time, to eventually cast all the fan lines, which are in pairs because the grid is formed by a pair of horizontal and vertical values that include of course the familiar Fibonacci numbers such as 0.618 and 0.382, along with non-Fibonacci numbers like 0 0.5, 0 0.25, and 0.75 to mark the halfway and quarter points, which are also useful ratios more commonly found with GAN numbers. These grid lines can be turned off if you prefer since the main focus is on the fan lines and their projections beyond the boundaries of the grid, in other words beyond the right edge of the grid. The starting or origin point is on the left side, while the end point is on the right side. Since this is a downtrend, the fan will extend from the top left to the bottom right. And as you would expect, compressing and expanding the fan in various ways can affect how the lines are proportioned, which could be important considerations when plotting the start and end points which will also be applicable for a Fibonacci fan based on an uptrend, which will begin from the bottom left and extend to the top right corner. In terms of settings, there isn't anything that needs to be changed unless you prefer certain colors or methods to display the numbers on the grid. The default settings on most all charting platforms are clear and straightforward to use. 